Uh, I joined Classmates about five months ago and was, I've never been a release engineer and was given our entire pipeline for every project and I came in, uh, fix it. So it was really bad. It's all in GitLab using GitLab runners with uh, lots of YAML. Uh, so a real pain to uh, maintain. So we, I went to Kube uh, Huddle uh, in Canada and um, was just blown away by the presentation. Got immediately started on learning what Dagger uh, could do for us um, as a developer in SRE. You know, was way more interested in using um, a tool that could put the pipeline into code rather than trying to parse YAML and figure out GitLab's weird things. So. Anyway, uh, I started experimenting locally with what Dagger could do and was amazed that, yes, it could run our entire pipeline locally, um, which was great. Uh, and and I, I did my first POC and, you know, it was arduous, you know, just trying to figure out, okay, how do I get these steps exactly to build, you know, so developers don't see weird different things that are building inside of a separate container that they're used to. Um, and then... Last week, I did my final POC um, where I'm using a, a Kubernetes pod uh, inside of, because we use uh, Kubernetes runners uh, for, our, for our GitLab pipeline. So I'm using a, a Dagger engine pod um, that I sort of um, stole or, or was inspired by Joel's um, pull request um, for the Helm chart. I think it was Joel. Anyway, uh, use that, use the image, uh, decided on using Packer. So install Packer directly into the image uh, that Dagger uses, um, expose the engine, told the GitLab runners how to talk to the engine. Um, and then uh, I have a backend cache uh, that's just a persistent volume on EKS um, to cache the build steps. Um, the developers weren't really feeling it. So I said, okay, let's have two pipelines race. And I did our old pipeline and then I did the new dagger pipeline and, you know, hit them at the same time and let them run um, and showed them that dagger was on average, either about 20% faster or the same build time. Right. So that was, they were interested in that specifically the, the, container building process that we use instead of using Packer, I'm using Dagger. Uh, and that was way faster because of the caching. Um, and then, so they, <clears throat> once they were interested, I showed them, Hey, look, you can do it locally. Cause everyone had so many questions about, well, can we make this cl uh, cloud native? Can we make this uh, platform independent? Can we, I said, Oh yeah. Uh, let's do it locally. And uh, I already had the cloud native steps done. Um, and I showed them, here is the image. Here is exactly how it's going to look in GitLab. And here you can test it locally on your local machine. <clears throat> I, um, yeah, I, my, my goal now is to uh, develop some kind of cache priming system so that we can deploy multiple pods of multiple uh, persistent volumes. Um, and pre-prime the caches for the developers so that their first deployment uh, to the new pod or if a, uh, PVC goes away or we decide to move to a different cluster, you know, they still get the speed uh, increases um, uh, that they get um, during the, specifically during the image building phase, because we do use images uh, for our applications. I don't, if anybody has questions, happy to answer them. Uh, it's kind of a super quick um uh, tangent but uh, uh huge props to the to the dagger community again and uh elder specifically saved my butt uh before my uh my, my final demo to the company i would have been i would have been just going it, it should work uh, but it did work because of elder's uh, uh help so thanks very much great john thanks for your kind of uh yeah explaining the explain the problem and how how it helped and then you know where where you're going um 
it's great to have use cases shared like that because I think it helps everyone understand that you know they they can also use Dagger <laughs> for a lot of the problems that they're running into, and then also seeing how other people are doing it um, is is motivating. But also you know now now they know people in the community that they can reach out to who you've gone through similar experiences of uh, POCing for for your team. So really looking forward to seeing all of those improvements and how your team continues to uh, evolve using using Dagger. So thanks for your time today. Oh, of um, course. Thank and you. then uh, there was a question that came in. Um, how did you go about showing the before and after to the dev team? Oh, good. Oh, good question. So um, uh, I created a Dagger CI CD repo within GitLab. Um, I mirrored, I don't know if anyone, it's sort of, it's similar to, it's exactly the same as every other one, but uh, my build steps were named exactly as our old build steps were named. So build Maven, uh, build RPM, I know, uh, build uh, Docker, right? So those are the three big ones. They're all the name the same. So old pipeline named, uh, new pipeline named. And so literally it looks exactly the same to the developers. That was very important to me to have the developers have a seamless transition into the Dagger uh, ecosystem, right? So I did, they, it looks the same. So there was just the timing, like, hey, this is the time it took. This is the time it took. And for the most part, uh, to be honest, it's probably something I can look at. Um, the build times were flat, uh, meaning that there was no difference but the, the um, build image portion was significantly faster. So they could see that, oh, nothing really changes. And also we get a little bit of a boost on the uh, the build uh, Docker step. Um, so yeah, 